Rashid's best general anti-air is probably Heavy Spinning Mixer. Unlike most anti-air specials, it's not actually invincible to air attacks until frame 6, so you have to do it somewhat early. However, unlike most anti-air specials, it actually hits on both sides rather easily. Like later seasons of SF5, if you get the anti-cross-up hit, it still throws the opponent away from Rashid. Heavy Mixer already works against close jumps, but if you want to keep the opponent in the corner or something, meeting them midair with air throw is quite strong. As for normals, low medium punch is a good anti-air. Generally, it's much weaker than Mixer, but it does have somewhat more mix-up potential. EX Mixer only has a marginal damage increase over Heavy, but it is invincible frame 1 and has an advancing hitbox, so it's good for things like dive kicks or anything that can change the opponent's jump arc. Rashid's level 1 and level 3 supers both work as anti-airs. Super 2 does too actually, if you do it early enough. Rashid's main answer to fireballs in this game actually seems to be his own fireball. Tornadoes have better lateral reach than in 5, and the ability to charge them is often useful too. The punch follow-up from run is low profile, and can potentially be used on reaction to a fireball if you're running in from full screen or something. Cyclone dispels fireballs, but it's often too slow to do it on reaction to a fireball. Nail Salt is still invincible to fireballs for the whole animation, but the fact that you can only use it from Cyclone makes it incredibly restrictive. Level 3 can be used on reaction to fireballs from about half screen or closer, and it's fantastic when it's available. Rashid's EX Mixer is invincible, and it hits on frame 6. Generally, it's his best reversal by far. Both Super 1 and Super 3 function as reversals. They're 9 frames and 11 frames, respectively. And combining the cost and Super Freeze, they're more telegraphed and less frequently available. The reward is higher, of course. Light Mixer is minus 3 on block. It's not especially rewarding on hit, and recovers point blank, so you're liable to eat a mix-up, but at least it's safe. Interestingly, it's a true block string from Rashid's target combo, so you can use it to make the target combo safe. If you charge Tornado, you can mix up when you release it to catch them in a counter hit. If they have an invincible reversal, they can just do it regardless, but if you actually get to level 2 charge, it's safe. Reminds me of SF5 Sakura. EX Tornado is minus 2, but it creates a little distance between you and your opponent, making it better than Light Mixer. Heavy Cyclone is also minus 2, but is restrictively slow, and there's a reversal timing which will beat Rashid's follow-ups. If you get the Wind Enhanced version, Light Mixer is plus 2 on block, and Rashid gets a mix-up afterward. All versions of Eagle Spike are massively unsafe, but recover quite far away. Notably, the Wind Enhanced versions are only minus 15, and quite hard to punish. But they're still vulnerable to Drive Impact, Backward Jump, or even just on-block punishes if the opponent has one. Naturally, Super 2 is plus on block, and in fact, you can mix the opponent up after cancelling into it. Rashid's max damage meterless mid-screen combo seems to be Medium Kick, Medium Punch, Medium Eagle Spike. You do this after things like Jump Normals. Target combo is also an attractive basic combo route. If you're point blank, you can do TC to Heavy Cyclone, then either the back follow-up to Jump Hard Kick, or the forward follow-up to Nail Assault. Both seem to have their upsides and downsides. You can still land Rashid's TC after stay medium kick, but you'll be too far for heavy cyclone, so you've got to use EX cyclone. From there you can do run kick into medium mixer, or if you're in the corner, heavy mixer.
Those combos seem to be the best way of spending EX to increase damage, though EX Eagle Spike is also worthy of consideration if you're cornered. If you want to use Drive Rush to increase damage, I think your best route is Crouch Hard Punch, Stand Hard Punch. The damage isn't much higher than his EX route though, so I don't think it justifies the cost. For one super bar, your best route seems to just be cancelling into it. The grounded connect is pretty strong. It's hard to say for level 2 stuff because it's more freeform, but any grounded connect into level 2 goes into hard kick towards medium punch, then enhanced light eagle spike. For level 3 it's also best to go straight into it due to scaling, but if that's too difficult, hard punch medium cyclone to level 3 is also possible. After Drive Impact Crumple, you have the rather bizarre combo Neutral Jump Up plus Hard Kick, Stand Hard Kick towards Medium Punch, Light Eagle Spike. Note that you have to be point blank for this. You can alternatively use Cartwheel for a side swap. There are a lot of subtle changes to Rashid's routes in the corner. Your TC can go to a charged tornado, and from there you can get various enders. After run punch, you're left close enough to link a normal. After any medium mixer, you can juggle EX mixer. After EX Eagle Spike, you stay on the same side, giving you some point blank routes. If you have a grounded combo to medium cyclone, you can link out of it. And you can start jumping combos with air down heavy punch to air heavy kick. A simple wall splat combo might be target combo, two hit whirlwind into towards medium punch heavy mixer. which can also be adjusted into this level 1 combo. However, I found you can get a bit more damage out of Heavy Punch to Light Cyclone, Nail Assault, Heavy Mixer. Rashid's basic low confirm is Crouch Light Kick, Light Punch, then Spinning Mixer. Light Mixer is slightly stronger and leaves the opponent standing, but Medium has a knockdown and better corner carry. You can also do Heavy which has a sizable damage increase but can fall out. Stain Light Kick has very little range. You can't chain into it from Crouch Light Kick. However, if you do have a route into it, you can go into Light Eagle Spike which is much stronger than Mixer. Any Light Normal combo can go into level 1. Or level 2. Or even level 3. Going through a special move first usually lowers the damage, but you can go through Light Mixer if you want. If you Drive Rush a Light Punch, you can combo Crouch Light Punch, then Stand Heavy Punch. Or alternatively, either version of Light Punch into Rashid's target combo. All of Rashid's stay medium kick routes function as confirms. And any TC route can be treated as a confirm, since again, Rashid can make TC safe on block with Light Mixer. Besides those, low medium punch links to any cancelable light normal. Stay medium punch links to stand light punch, but only point blank. And wind enhanced light mixer also links to a light normal. Counter hit Light Punch links to Medium Punch. If you're point blank, you can get TC to Heavy Cyclone. Crouch Light Punch links to Crouch Medium Kick. Medium Punch links to itself. 
Low medium punch to stay medium punch. Again, point blank means TC heavy cyclone. Low hard punch gets an amusing link to low medium kick. Though I don't know how often yet you'll be using crouch hard punch as a poker meaty. Towards heavy kick gets a link to a light normal. As does towards heavy punch overhead. And if you get a counter hit light mixer, it can also link a light. For Punish Counter, Rashid gets Crouch Hard Punch to stand Hard Punch. This seems nice for both Meteorless combos and Drive Rush stuff. For faster punishes, Light Punch links to Medium Kick. And Crouch Light Punch to Heavy Punch. Both Overhead and Towards Hard Kick get links into Target Combo. As for changed properties on Punish Counter, Hard Kick launches and you get a juggle. While Enhanced Eagle Spike causes a comboable rolling state. For most Drive Rush combos, you can go to Crouch Heavy Punch pretty easily, which seems good. From Crouch Medium Kick, you don't have time for that, but you can do Stay Medium Kick. As for normals to do after Drive Rush, obviously the overhead is strong, and you get the TC afterward. Drive Rush Crutch Light Kick offers a nice mix-up with that. It links to TC from close or low medium kick from afar. Drive Rush towards Heavy Kick is also interesting. Again you get TC, and it jumps over lows and throws. Rashid can cancel Jump Medium Punch to his air special, but it often doesn't work in my experience. The EX version is by far the most consistent, followed by the light one. If the opponent jumps and lands in a tornado, you can sometimes juggle an Eagle Spike if you can reach them fast enough. You've got a number of juggles from Super 2. The most obvious is a Wind Enhanced EX Mixer, which then cancels to Rashid's air special. From there you can get a Jump Hard Kick for a knockdown. Or maybe jump medium punch for a juggle to super. You can also use the EX air special for a little combo on the ground. Rashid's most obvious burnout abuse is Light Mixer, which is plus one on block on a burnout opponent. You can't truly spam it because it generates pushback, but it's very easy and brainless to get some kind of chip sequence going. Towards medium punch is another advancing attack which becomes plus on block. And same for towards heavy kick. After medium eagle spike, you can chase either wake up with a cartwheel and a forward dash. From light eagle spike, you can just run in. From TC, you have this funny meaty setup to overhead. In the corner, it's pretty easy to get a meaty heavy cyclone. I'm aware of two safe jumps. The first is from Heavy Eagle Spike. And the second from your tornado juggles. After a dizzy, Rashid can charge a tornado. There's a number of things you can do from this, but I don't want to lab any, so I'll just share some really simple boring ones. 